All right, last one on the docket here. And there may not be a whole lot to talk about with this bunch, but the New Mexico Lobos are next on the clock here. Danny Gonzalez, the coach, uh, they went three and nine last year. They uh, they are now five and fourteen, or he is five and fourteen in two seasons as head coach. Um, I, you know, they got big losses on defense. They lost quarterback Terry Wilson, but they do bring in uh, the quarterback Miles Kendrick. Uh, they were partially really bad on offense last year, which, by the way, number 130, dead last in offensive PPA per drive, number 130 in rushing success rate, number 130 in passing success rate. They were number 99 in offensive explosive play rate. So not dead last, but you know, still not great. Uh, it was partially because they they started four different quarterbacks throughout the season due to injuries and, and whatnot, uh, including they, they had to start a graduate manager in the last game of the year. So, you know, eh, not not great here. Uh, the offensive line only returns two guys with more than 90 snaps played. But you and I have talked about this. Like, is that such a bad thing? If they were already that bad, is it is it awful to just bring in a whole new crop of them? I don't like, think so. I don't think I, so. I either. think this is what you got to do. Yeah. I mean, this is... they. They were they were so bad. Uh, Kansas transfer quarterback Miles Kendrick looks like he's going to be the starting quarterback. I don't know if that's an improvement. I we'll see. It, it's got to be an improvement over starting four different guys. But still, on defense, uh, everybody was very excited about bringing in Rocky Long as the defensive coordinator a couple of years ago when he uh, willingly left his post as the San Diego State head coach. Uh, but this just kind of goes to show you that there are some places, there are some schools, some programs that it, it you could hire the best coach in the world and there is still a stealing on what they can accomplish. Um the secondary is loaded with returning snaps and whatnot. They, their their pass defense was their best spot. They were number forty two in defensive passing success rate allowed. Um I mean the defensive line, uh they gotta improve the rushing success rate from number seventy nine. Like it, that that's gonna be their big thing. The biggest thing, their offense has got to do something. Like, Jesus, that, that team is so bad. Um, the keys to the season here, hope Miles Kendrick immediately forms a connection with wide receiver uh, Jordan Porter, uh, the guy from Arizona State. He averaged 17.9 yards per catch on only 14 catches at Arizona State. So you hope there's some kind of connection there because those guys are both talented. Uh, if the defense can be more aggressive and improve from the number 123 havoc rate, that could provide a little bit of stability that the offense can use to kind of catch up. And on top of that, um, if there is a, a regression this year, I don't know that Gonzalez gets to a year four. I mean, it might help that Rocky Long is there, but like you gotta you gotta show some improvement, right? I, like New Mexico may just keep him around for a long time, but even uh, uh, God, what was the guy before him? Bob Davies, like he at least had something going. Like I, I have no, I'm, I've got him at two and ten. Um, but I, you know, they could go zero and twelve, and I, it wouldn't shock me. Or they might, they could go three and nine again. It wouldn't shock me. Anywhere between zero and three wins is about where I've got them. If they go, if they got four wins, I would be stunned. Stunned. How do you feel about it? Well, we're finally a little different. Okay. I got them. I got them. I got them one and eleven. <laughs> we're off by one one ball game there. <laughs> this, this is a bad football team, man. This is a team that I think would benefit uh, from dropping down to FCS. But here's the problem. Look, I watched a lot of FCS football, you know, during that weird-ass COVID <laughs> year where we got to see them in the spring. Man, almost every one of those damn teams are a lot better than this team. Not a little better. A lot better yeah. than this team. You're not wrong. Not a little. A lot. Uh, it's, it's so bad because I would love for I mean, a team named the Lobos to be pretty good. Right? Listen. This team and UMass and UConn could all put – they could put together an all-star team of the best players on their rosters, and they'd still suck. It's so sad. <laughs> it's so sad. Like, I, I, I look at this team, and I'm like, you know, like it, the safety, Jarek Reed, like, could be fun. Like, the, the right okay. guard, Isaac Gutierrez, could be fun. Like, I, I just don't see a lot of – they're I'm just need not to, good. Yeah, I'm going to need they're to see They're just not it. good. They're not good talent-wise. I don't think they're good coaching-wise. 
They're they're just not this team it only exists to take checks and to cash checks. That's what they do. That's mind blowing. They should fill their entire they should go independent and fill the all twelve games would just pay for wins. Just yeah. line them up. It's so frustrating. Come, come out of the season making twenty four million dollars. You'll make more than every Pac twelve team out there. I get down with that. That's they have a bigger bad. athletic department than the Pac twelve football. Yeah, yeah. I could uh I could get with that. I could get with that. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.